Hi, this is Attila16 and this is a video of Wargame Ireland Battle in which I will actually explain to you how um, I created this deck which I'm showing right now, which is a British deck and I will explain to you the rationale behind it and then I'll uh, play a game using it and I will explain how I use uh, each part of this deck and why. So let's start with um, the logistic. First of all, uh, the British don't have much logistical units, uh, uh, which are inexpensive. So you have the Rover CP, which is uh, an acceptable choice, I guess, but you only have four of them, which is very limited. Then I use a Chinook, which carry uh, quite a bit of uh, supplies. It's very useful to resupply uh, 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 your own troops which are pretty far ahead or at the same time uh, contain sufficient amount of supplies to resupply your uh, troops which require a lot of supply like uh, anti-air weapon. Then I use uh, this uh, Alvis uh, uh, Stalwart uh, which is a, a fairly good uh, supply vehicle and uh, I don't use an FOB because uh, I think FOBs are mostly for people which use a lot of chopper and artillery. Other than that, I think uh, you can live very well with only vehicle uh, to resupply your troops. And Chinook uh, should do the job as well. So I think, and also since I'm mostly playing 10 versus 10 with these uh, deck I'm uh, using, uh, usually I can live uh, pretty well off uh, the friendly supply FOBs. <laughs> Now, when it comes to infantry, I have a Fusilier uh, when, with the NH7, which has a rocket launcher. And uh, this allows me to suppress uh, incoming vehicle as well as infantry. So it's pretty good. Also, the uh, infantry itself, the Fusilier, are a really inexpensive unit. So it's pretty good uh, to call them in great number. Uh, so it's, and they are fairly reliable, uh, whatever the role you give them. Also, um, I'm using them with the least amount of experience to have them in great number. Uh, but uh, I think uh, what's interesting is that the Lynx chopper is uh, one of uh, the main strength of using this specific unit. Then I'm using the LAD Javelin with the uh, chopper which has 20mm uh, cannons. Now the Javelin, uh, I also use this unit with maximum amount of experience. And that reduces the number. But the thing is that at the beginning, I think it's really important to uh, use those anti-air um, uh, units for the British. because uh, And you want to be as effective as possible for an helicopter rush, for example. So once you land with these, uh, you want them to be as good as possible to shut down any enemy choppers as well as planes. So that's why having a lot of experience uh, appear to me as a good idea for those uh, anti-air unit. Also, the Lynx uh, with uh, 20 mm cannon is really good against enemy chopper. It's good against uh, light vehicle and infantry. So it's a very good support uh, chopper. Uh, while the one with the rocket launcher is good to suppress the enemy. I use also blowpipe with the uh, experience as well. And uh, this is for the same reason that the, as the javelin. It's just that this way I can have at least uh, 8 units of anti-air infantry. The only downside aside to enemy, uh, well to your infantry which is uh, anti-air is that they don't have much uh, missile. So uh, they will run out quickly. So it's really a short-term uh, tool that you'll use at the beginning, and uh, after that you'll see. Then I use ATGM Milan uh, with a normal Lynx, and, uh, which only has a, has a machine gun. But uh, it's also maximum uh, uh, experience, so they are veteran. And the reason for that is that you want those ATGM to fire on any incoming tank and destroy it on, on each shot. So you want them to hit as much as possible. So uh, maximum experience for them. And I only have four of them, but this is a, a purely defensive unit that I use. Uh, I won't attack with that. Then I have Ro Royal Marine uh, in links uh, with 20 millimeter gun. And the Royal Marine are an interesting unit because uh, they are really fast moving. So they move at 27 kilometer an hour which make them particularly useful to sneak around 
and uh, they also have a good uh, capacity for close quarter combat so they are good to hold the town as well as to fight in forest and uh, while on the move so that's a good thing then I use Fusilier with Warrior Tank, which is right here. Now the Fusilier is an inexpensive unit, as I said previously, and the Warrior Tank is uh, also not that expensive, uh, but it has a 30 mm cannon, which uh, auto cannon, which uh, is pretty good against uh, infantry, light vehicle, and uh, even chopper. So it's uh, a good uh, unit to fill uh, defensive position, for example. Then uh, in support I use the Falcon, <coughs> which I use one group of it. Uh, it's a fine anti-air. It's uh, it doesn't use radar, but I guess it's a good uh, distraction for the enemy. Uh, at the same time, it seems uh, pretty effective against chopper. It has a good range on them, uh, but at the same time. Uh, uh, it's fairly slow, so you won't ambush the uh, enemy chopper with this. And I think globally this uh, deck is lacking an anti-air of quality. Uh, because uh, I use also the wrap here, which is this one here. It's really good against plane, but against chopper it has a shorter range than uh, the falcon. So uh, the falcon is actually a greater threat to enemy chopper than the wrap here. But on the other hand, for against the planes, it's pretty good. And you have 8 missile, which is also pretty good. And then in support, I also use a mortar, which I don't really use as a killing machine, but I use it as a, a smoke screen, so for covering a, an offense that might be a good tool. Now, when it, when it comes to tank, I use the Chieftain, and this one is an MK10. Now, just by the movement of this tank, you can see that it is extremely slow. But on the other hand, it has a pretty amazing armor, uh, so it can uh, resist quite a bit of firepower. Uh, it can even uh, resist the uh, airstrike. Uh, so this is uh, truly a big tank uh, that should not be underestimated. And also against uh, hordes of T-55, it can uh, destroy them pretty well. So the, I use uh, the different type here. So I use a Chief 10 uh, Mark II. Uh, which is the least expensive one. I have 20 of them, so uh, they have 11 armor in the front, but the speed is 40 km an hour, so this is really terrible when it comes to speed. Uh, then I use the Chief 10 MK10, which I showed previously. This one has much better accuracy. Uh, it has a stabilizer as well, and uh, it's a slow, but it has a much better armor, and these are really good defensive unit. Then I use a Challenger, uh, which is really expensive, so I probably uh, won't use it much because uh, it's maybe too expensive for my own good. But uh, once again, this one has a very strong frontal armor, good accuracy, and good range also on the cannon. I think, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's pretty good range. So these are the different things that the British have, and I use them with the minimal amount of experience, which uh, I'm okay with, but this is largely a defensive force. Then when it comes to recon, I'm using the Gazelle, the first version of it, which has an exceptional optic, and it's fairly uh, cheap in terms of price. Also, uh, even if you were to made, make a, a deck which is uh, prior to 1975, you could buy this one. And it's exceptional in optic. So this is a very reliable uh, recon. Then I'm using SAS. The SAS unit is really interesting on the uh, speed aspect because they go at 33 km an hour. So to sneak around, they are perfect. Also, uh, if you use them as an offensive tool at the beginning, you can even... Uh, rely on them as an anti-air unit because they have uh, six blowpipe uh, anti-air so that's pretty good and they are also equipped with some anti-tank capacity but they are few in number so i will not rely too much on them and they are so also weak against uh, infantry so don't rely on them for close quarter comeback but uh, if you mix them with real uh, uh, marine i think yeah with these uh, it's a pretty good combo because you have vis visibility, anti-air and uh, anti-tank capacity while uh, the other one has uh, anti-infantry capacity. 
Okay, now when it comes to a vehicle, I use a striker, which is a fine uh, anti uh, vehicle unit. Uh, it has a good amount of missile. It's not the best one out there, but it's the best one the British can have. Actually, perhaps. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the best uh, ATGM vehicle that you can have, and uh, also the enemy are really attracted to destroying them, so you can use them, move them around just to bait the ar enemy artillery. Then I use an FV-432 uh, Rarden, so this is a vehicle with an auto cannon. It's uh, pretty good to destroy light vehicle and uh, choppers. I guess, and it's fairly mobile, no, it's, actually it's pretty slow, but anyway, i use that into my deck. Then in terms of chopper, I think yeah, you really need to have some chopper in your army other than the one carrying your infantry, and this is the Lynx AH-722, which has a good range, a very good range with the tow missile, good accuracy and good AP power, so this is a very good uh, chopper to support uh, your troops from afar and uh, it will likely be able to shoot at the enemy beyond uh, the reach of their AA gun so if you're careful with it it can be extremely effective now when it comes to air support I use the tornado ADV F3 which is a very good fighter it's probably equivalent to uh, an SU-27 but maybe maybe not as good but we'll see it's a, a fighter which I'll only use in a defensive measure against a large amount of enemy fighter. Also I use a Jaguar which has cluster bomb and the cluster bomb are really useful to destroy enemy which are in a static position so they won't move and uh, it's a, a good plane to uh, really sneak around. It also goes very fast so good speed so they can uh, get in and get out of situation quickly. Then I use uh, the Arrier GR5, which has four 500 kilogram bombs, which is extremely good to dislodge enemy infantry in buildings, as well as uh, pretty much anything which is uh, below those bombs, because these bombs are really powerful. So uh, you will be able to even perhaps destroy enemy tank with these bombs. But uh, it's likely that you will just stun them, but it's really good to uh, drop uh, four bombs in, in a row and destroy a whole zone so to destroy very specific targets in forest and town that's a very good plane although it's very slow so you need to be careful about it but it has good ECM so that's it for this deck and now let's uh, give it a good try and let's go for it